Dave will be weeks ahead. Um, gone all right this week in more ways than one. What's the situation you've got here on in Lancaster? I don't know, no, in Lancaster. But all, sure, but, all, so. but all in Lancaster is doing all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, how is he? Is he sort of. Uh, He's doing all right, yeah. Close, or is that too early uh, to say? Uh, 40 yards away. <laughs> In terms of that, but it's gone well for him this week. In terms of maybe preparation, or could be there or thereabouts. Yeah, well, he's he's missed a fair chunk of pre-season, so you know, regardless of what happens this week or what's happened this week, he's missed a fair chunk of pre-season. So, reading to that one, you you've got to take it into account then, because it's now just just throwing him. Is it really? You've got to look at it from your point of view and, and the players' point of view as well, there, haven't you? Of course. How do you approach this game then now? Uh, okay, it's a bit of a setback last weekend, but you proved, particularly in the second period, that uh, you know, although you would like to have got off to a winning start, it's only one game, Dave, isn't it, really? And uh, the season, as you say, is a marathon, not a sprint, as someone said once many, many years ago. Is it, uh, how do you view the Oldham game? It's known as the ice station. Nine tenths of the times you've been going there in late winter or whatever, but uh, you're going second game of the season. Hopefully, it's going to be a good surface, Dave, isn't it? Yeah, we, listen, I went Wednesday night to watch him and it was a good pitch. Um, so there were no issues there. I don't think the forecast is great, but that won't make a difference. Um, well, it'll be the same for both teams, we can it's sun over there or whatever. Um, so yeah, it'll be um, a good pitch. And, and I think two good teams. I think they obviously they've got a new manager, some new players, but plenty of players that were there last year. Um, narrow defeat last week to a good team. And we have a defeat to a, a team that's going to be there or thereabouts, probably undeserved in the end. Um, so it's going to be it's going to be a good game. Opportunity to see them, does that help you Dave? I mean OK they've had two games in quick succession, I don't know whether it goes against them or it helps you, the fact you've had a chance to watch the opposition. Well it was a check trade game for one. Um, and I think only three players started um, from the game on Saturday. Um, now obviously, check trade rules means that it's going to have to keep some of them in or pay the fine. Um, so we've got a bit of a steer in that, in that sense in, the, in terms of the team, unless, you, unless all of them prepared to pay the fine. Obviously, we've spoke to Critch because they played Liverpool. Um, and it's always good to see what a new manager's thoughts and ideas are, that's why I went. Um, not so much to look at the personnel as to what they were actually, what they were actually doing. In the, in the hope that whoever plays will do similar kind of things because that's what the manager's told them to do. So it's always good to see them. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get the better of them Saturday. They've run the changes, obviously, since the end of last season. Obviously, important one or two foreign players. And, can you get any of much of a stir, to use your word, Dave, on, on the way they have adapted to English football? Yeah, but like I said, the, the, the ones over there last year, you know, from Jena, your Rangers, your Missouri, your Uchis, all, all them types of fillers, you know, they're good players. You know, they're good players. They've brought in the likes of Vera, uh, Vera up front, the Spanish boy who we've, we've done some work on, um, Segby, who we've done some work on. So we know exactly what their, their standard is and what they're good at and what they're not good at. Um, and we've got to make sure you know, we, we counter that. Uh, not, as in 95% of the games, it's not about the opposition, it's about what we do. And we've got to go there knowing we've got a certain way of playing and, and, and we, we've got to do play to our ability. And if we do that, we'll give anyone a game of football and, and win more matches than we lose. So that's that's always got to be the aim. Concentrate on ourselves and encounter anything that the opposition might throw at us while we while we're playing well.